Kim, thank you. A St. Louis County man admits he placed GPS tracking devices on the vehicles of two of the state's top government officials. But after being asked questioned by the FBI, he wants to make the public aware of who he says hired him to do it. Investigative reporter Chris Nagus is getting reaction from the governor and asking why the officials were targeted. Bland is a licensed private investigator in the state of Missouri. Basically, just has a magnet on there. Tracking people is part of his business, and sometimes that requires him to place GPS trackers like these on private vehicles. If it's got to go on there quick, then generally right under the middle of a vehicle like that. Recently, Bland was hired to track two of Missouri's top government officials, Drew Erdman, who is the state's chief operating officer under Governor Mike Parson, and Sarah Steelman, the commissioner at the Office of Administration, which handles purchasing and contracting tracks for the state. It is a fact to say that you were hired to place tracking devices on the vehicles of two high-ranking state officials. Correct. And you did that. Yes. And the state knows you did that. Absolutely. The state knows he did it because Bland claims Erdman found the tracking device and reported it to police. He says the Missouri Highway Patrol tracked the device back to him and questioned him at his home. When I called the Missouri Highway Patrol, the agency referred me to the FBI office in Kansas City. A spokesperson for the agency would not confirm or deny an ongoing investigation, but Bland says there most certainly is an investigation. You have met with the FBI on this? Correct. You've met with the Highway Patrol? Yes. Do you believe this is actually under investigation? I would believe, I would say so, yes. I've, I've been questioned for five hours myself so far. So why did he do it? Bland claims he was hired by a man named John Wall and paid $2,500 to spend a week in Jefferson City looking for the vehicles. Wall is affiliated with a Farmington-based company called Asymmetric Solutions, which offers military, law enforcement, and civilian training. In 2019, a tweet from the Arizona Commerce Authority also affiliates Wall with a company called Red List. Bland says Wall told him why he wanted to track Erdman and Steelman. You know, he was trying to find information on why they had not used his facial recognition company, Red List. Uh, which he teamed up with other people and developed and was trying to prove an extramarital affair between Drew Erdman and Sarah Steelman. They were trying to show that there was some unethical stuff going on. Did you ever feel like if this information could be proven that it would have been used as blackmail? I don't know how it was going to be used. To be clear, News 4 is unaware of any inappropriate relationship between Erdman and Steelman. And according to the Office of Administration, there is no record of asymmetric solutions or red list having applied for any state contracts. Likewise, the Office of Administration has not awarded any contracts for facial recognition around the Capitol or Governor's Mansion. Okay. After being questioned by authorities, Bland is convinced he did not get the entire truth. As they told me themselves that I wasn't told I wasn't even given the real, the proper story myself when hired. They indicated to you that something else was going on? Correct. And if things aren't already bizarre enough, Bland says it took what? another twist. Mm -hmm. On the day he attempted to locate Sarah Steelman's vehicle, he says Wall called him and that Wall was accompanied by state representative Dottie Bailey. Next thing I know, he calls me, kind of the adrenaline going out of breath, tells me he had located Sarah Steelman's F-150 and they, he and Dottie were basically pursuing that, if you will, up, I, I believe it's Highway 63 towards Columbia. Bland says he met Wall and Bailey at this golf course north of Jefferson City, where Bland placed the GPS tracker on Steelman's vehicle. So I called Bailey to ask if she was involved. And he's claiming on the day that he uh, placed the tracking device on Miss Steelman's truck at a golf course, he's claiming that you were there with Mr. Wall. And oh, story. Yeah, okay, so I, this guy is a wacko loon, but, um, oh, shit, I have another call coming in, but, I, yeah, I don't know. There's so many damn stories going on, and I'm working on other stuff, but I appreciate the call. Thanks, so. Uh, Bailey did not return a follow-up call. Nobody answered the door at her home. Multiple messages left for Wall went unreturned. Oh, it's still legal. Bland says he's stepping forward because the state has called a hearing to discuss a complaint with his license on an unrelated matter and worries this incident could tarnish him. He says he is not a political operative and was only doing the job he was hired to do and has nothing against the people he was tracking. Had you ever even heard of these two people? No. As for Erdman and Steelman, 
A spokesperson for the governor's office released this statement. Unfortunately, a governor's staff member and cabinet member were victims of potential criminal activity that was tied to their roles as public servants. The harassing behavior was immediately reported to authorities. We are complying fully with the investigation and hope to hold those responsible accountable. You might be wondering if it's legal to place GPS trackers on private vehicles. A SLU privacy law professor made an argument that it would violate trespassing laws and that professor was unaware of any exemptions for private investigators. But Bland insists it's not illegal and it is a practice private investigators utilize from time to time. Of course, this is a story we will continue to follow. Chris Nagus, News 4 Investigates.